The Indian Army plans to procure 3,000 vehicle-mounted infantry mortar systems, MIMS, to boost rapid response artillery capabilities. Mounted on 4x4 vehicles, these systems can deploy in under 3 minutes and strike targets up to 8.2 kilometers away, enabling shoot and scoot tactics. Building on 50 units earlier delivered by Mahindra Defense with the Alacran system, the new order emphasizes indigenous production under Atmanur Barbarat. The move addresses evolving threats from Pakistan and China, enhancing mobility, precision and battlefield firepower. India has upgraded its first indigenous VHF radar, developed by LRD and BL, enhancing its range from 400 km to 500 km, designed to detect 5th and 6th generation stealth aircraft like the F-35. The radar operates in the VHF band, where stealth technology is less effective. This upgrade strengthens India's early warning network, giving air defense forces more reaction time. As an indigenous system, it bolsters self-reliance under Atmanur Barbarat and plays a key role in India's layered air defense. The Indian Air Force plans to acquire 75 high-altitude pseudo-satellites, HAPS, capable of flying at 22 kilometers for one to two months. Positioned between drones and satellites, HAPS will provide persistent surveillance, communications, and intelligence over sensitive areas like the LAC, LOC, and Indian Ocean. Powered by solar energy and equipped with electro-optical and infrared cameras, SCR, and ELINT sensors, they offer satellite-like coverage at lower costs, strengthening India's multi-service ISR and communication capabilities. Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited AVNL, a defense PSU, has won two army contracts worth Rs 2,565.46 crore to overhaul, 40 T-90 tanks and 100 BMP-2 infantry vehicles. These platforms are key to India's armored and mechanized forces, making their timely upgrade vital for combat readiness. The deal highlights AVNL's capability to handle complex projects indigenously, reducing reliance on foreign OEMs. It also strengthens India's defense self-reliance under Make in India and Atmanur Barbarat. India's indigenous Astra missile family MK-1, MK-2 and MK-3 is set to reach 1,500 orders within five years, marking a shift from costly imports to self-reliance. Developed by DRDO and built by BDL, Astra offers a cost-effective alternative to Russian, French, and European BVR missiles. With a 100 to 110 kilometers range, it addresses past shortcomings like those seen in the 2019 Balakot clash. The IF and Navy are integrating Astra across major fighter fleets, boosting both combat power and export potential. Barov Robotics has unveiled Rakshak, an AI-driven autonomous weapon station that detects, tracks, and engages targets without human input. Using advanced stereo vision instead of traditional laser rangefinders, it overcomes challenges like fog, smoke, and jamming. Modular in design, Rakshak supports multiple weapons, from rifles to machine guns, offering flexibility for close combat, defense, or vehicle use. With Zen Technologies holding a 45% stake, this innovation boosts India's Atmanur Barbarat mission and strengthens indigenous defense robotics. U.S. manufacturer General Electric has missed its August deadline to deliver two F-404 engines for India's Tejas LCA program, supplying only two units earlier this year. GE now promises three to five engines in September to cover the delay. These engines are vital for producing 83 Tejas MK-1A jets under a Rs 46,898 crore contract. While GE cited supply chain issues and had alerted how, the delay raises scrutiny as India and the U.S. expand defense cooperation, including F-414 engine co-production. In a major step for India's defense self-reliance, 
Hyderabad-based VM Technologies delivered the second center fuselage assembly of the LCA Tejas MK1A to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited on September 4, 2025. The center fuselage is a vital structural part of the aircraft, and its timely supply highlights the growing role of private firms in the Tejas program. HAL is tasked with delivering 240 Tejas MK1A jets to the Indian Air Force, including 18 by March 2025. With advanced radar, electronic warfare systems, and refueling capability, the Tejas MK-1A will significantly boost India's air combat strength. Russia is pushing India to join its Su-57E stealth fighter program, offering not just aircraft procurement but joint production, full technology transfer, and even export rights. Moscow proposes assembling jets at Hal Nashik with integration of Indian systems like UTAM ASA radar and Astra missiles. The deal could make India a global hub for Su-57E sales and maintenance, similar to the Su-30 MKI success. For India, the jets could help bridge its squadron gap against China's J-20 and Pakistan's J-35. However, U.S. sanctions, financing hurdles, and doubts over Russia's true commitment to export rights remain key challenges. To fast-track the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Program, AMCA, the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, has decided to outsource key project management tasks to private firms. These include progress tracking, stakeholder coordination, LRU procurement, documentation, lifecycle management, and real-time dashboards. The move aims to reduce delays and improve efficiency in developing India's fifth-generation stealth fighter set for prototype rollout in 2028 and induction by 2035. With a contract worth rupees 50 to 100 crore, major firms like TCS and LNT may participate. This step strengthens the AMCA's path under Atmanirbha Bharat, ensuring over 70% indigenous content. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.